Good evening, everybody. Um, the emotions are so high because really this is a dream come true for me to be here in front of all of you guys with my family. We're on table number eight over there and I have all my four children here. And this is my youngest one. His name is Benjamin. That's Jean right there, Jack and Rose. I have my boss from work, Mr. Luke Scott and Veronica. And Mr. Bill Mason right here is a very, very highly invited person here to represent not only um, Mrs. Diana, which is the lady on this shirt here that my son is wearing. Um, she's an ambassador of the United States, a permanent ambassador of the United States. She's been, a, she's been doing the humanitarian work and also supporting, funding a lot of organizations, a lot of, lot of foundations, including Benny Foundation. And I, I could not help not to talk about her or present her in front of all of you guys here. Although she could not be here with us tonight, but uh, she's a very good person that's been helping us help others really to change the world and have so much impact. On, uh, do, on what's going on in the world today. So I would like everybody to do a round of applause for Mrs. Diana, the ambassador of the United States. Thank you so much, thank you. And Mr. Bill, thank you for being here to represent her, although she's out of town. Uh, it means so much to us. So I'm not gonna take too much time, but I have to thank God for this opportunity of a lifetime for me to be up here again, like I said and also to thank those people, the volunteer of Benny Foundation. This uh, award is now just for me to be up here as a founder, the president, but this is for the people that are there really sacrificing uh, in the name of the foundation to help others. So I wanna start with the representative of Benny Foundation in Guinea, named Mr. Leno Lauren, and also Mamadi Kaba, Rufin Dramu, uh, Sama Fanta uh, Keita, Alassane Keita, all those people, you guys have no idea who they are, but they are the people that actually do the ground working activities to help people to advocate for sexually abused children. We have as young as two and a half year old uh, children that are being sexually abused. And these people that I just named are the one there picking up the phone and leading, helping, supporting the families and these babies to really fight against their terror, the chaos that nobody should really experience in their lives. So I would like to really take this time and thank them for being there and serving the people. And the one person that makes it all possible for all of us is this lady right here. I love her to death because without the support, we could not go forward further in our services. So thank you, let's support each other. I'm here because of JM. I don't know where he's at, he's right there. Uh, thank you JM for this opportunity to have me here with my family tonight. And congratulations to all the awardees. Woo! Let's go! There you have it, Benny Foundation Incorporated, our outstanding advocate on the prevention of sexual abuse. Thank you so much, Ms. Benny, and congratulations to you. We need more people like you in this world. Our next awardee is Miriam McCallum. 